we met Werner Westermann. And Werner Westermann for a uh, German community may sound like a familiar name, but Werner Westermann is not from Germany or Austria or somewhere, but from Chile. Uh, great to have you here. What actually are you doing in Chile? <laughs> Thanks, uh, first of all, for your, for your consideration. Uh, I work uh, at the civic education program in the Library of Congress. Uh, being part of Congress, uh, civic education is in a strategy to re-engage citizens uh, towards uh, the Parliament's uh, uh, work and in, 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 in the institutional support of uh, our democratic system. So, um, in that work, I mainly work in schools, uh, in, in a logic where we need to build uh, the skills for citizens to, to really exercise in a, in a proactive and in, in a participatory uh, way of, of the decision makings, uh, makers um, of all the solutions of, of the problems that our country have uh, and all the challenges we have in the future. So uh, my job it concentrates uh, related to uh, foster civic education, which was... Um, pulled out of the curriculum uh, during the Pinochet regime. Mm -hmm. So, uh, civic education in this context of a new citizenship uh, uh, that needs to be proactive, uh, it's coming back to the school. So, Congress is contributing to that process to reinsert uh, civics and citizenship uh, on the curriculum. Yeah. Sounds like OER could be contributing to your cause, is it? Yes, uh, in fact, uh, one of uh, our, our works uh, directly with schools uh, deals with uh, contributing resources and different types of materials towards, uh, towards uh, civic education. Uh, we, in a project that we're doing with, uh, alongside with uh, the Senate of Mexico in a, in a binational fund, we are building, uh, we did a state of art uh, related to, to civic education, um, and then we started to build resources. We, we built a framework uh, of uh, learning outcomes of mm -hmm. citizenship. It's open. Uh, so it can be remixed and, and adapted to not only schools but all, uh, other other types of uh, educational opportunities, and um, we also built uh, assessment items aligned with these learning outcomes, so teachers can uh, uh, diagnose uh, the level of uh, of knowledge and, and and skills around the civics, and um, and we also are building a. a a teacher development, professional development course uh, that will uh, all of those resources are openly licensed uh, we want uh, them to be extended and adapted to other uh, to other settings, educational settings so um, and this uh, all these resources uh, that we're trying to fix as a model uh, we want uh, uh, we will be uh, piloting them We're starting now in September, uh, the end of this uh, half of the semester, and next year the, uh, we will be applying in uh, or implementing in in the schools. There's 11 public schools where, which are the most disadvantaged, and where there's uh, a lot more work to do around uh, these skills. Who else is doing OER in Chile? Yeah. It's a uh, it's a tough question. Um, OER, as well as open education, uh, it's, it's something that still is not much embedded in the, in the mainstream. Um, um, there are some universities working around, uh, um, first of all, with MOOCs, uh, which, which, which is very concentrated on, on access more than openness. Um, but uh, they're thinking about I'm, I'm actually talking with the universities that uh, their MOOC platforms they, they want to go MOOC uh, as open uh, licensing openly licensing their, their courses and their content and their platforms um, uh, highlight uh, Abierta, the University of Chile which is the main, the biggest uh, public uh, uh, university in Chile, but also others like the Pontificia Universidad Católica de Valparaíso Um, we had, which has PUCV Abierta mm -hmm. 
um, as, as you can see, both uh, they have openness in, embedded in, in their in in their in, in their coin, but uh, they need to go further and they need to formalize their openness. and And I'm trying to to um, suggest a, a licensing scheme so so they can really be open as as, as we know it, it has to be defined. So very interesting overview. It was great talking to you. All the best for your work. And yeah, I just say yeah, a very last thing related to uh, um, because it's it's been a, a, a great opportunity that can I think can foster further adoption of uh, and it's related to open government. The resources that we are building in this project with uh, with uh, with the Mexicans, we 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 made a commitment in the third action plan mm -hmm. in a, a, of the open government partnership uh, agenda and that has been a a, a, a big success uh, uh, for me because it it had, has gave us the, the chance to stand up for openness in education uh it, 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 it's a shame that we cannot do it uh, directly on the educational system, but uh, a governmental platform of this type can really give you a lot of exposure. And, and, and it was the first time that I could really talk about openness, especially uh, uh, in front of uh, the, uh, the, ministry, the Ministry of Education authorities. And, and, and it's, that has been a very good platform to pushing this. So... Um, as this goes uh, on the world, uh, uh, I would seriously suggest uh, that uh, you can use other platforms, moreover the educational actors. You can get support uh, bypassing and, uh, and we need to have different strategies so we can promote, especially, especially in the educational system where everything is just so difficult to move. We're talking about very rigid systems and... Uh, big culture of resistance so um, you need to have a, you need to dif diversify your strategies so you can move forward and, and it's given good success for, for us so if you have not heard about the open government partnership look it up it's huge it's in many countries and it's working thanks again Werner thank you Joran and best luck to you